This is the second time I've been here at Eastmont Middle School. I'm John Franke in Sandy. Last year I was here when the cover art for a novel written by a teacher was unveiled. Well, now that book is being made into another form of media and taking the world by storm. You need to get your work done in class. And if you don't, then it's homework. It's a teacher's job to inspire. I've had him for all three years. I think he has been my favorite teacher of all time. Never gonna forget it. And there's no shortage of inspiration inside Mark J. Gregson's classroom. So how cool is it to have a teacher that has not only a book published, but also is going to have a book turned into a movie? Yeah, it's really cool because, you know, he's famous, so it's, it's really cool to be in this class. And he's a, he's a great teacher, too. About that fame, Gregson's book, Sky's End, hit the New York Times bestseller list after its release earlier this year. This year I got, like, a New York Times in instant bestseller, so... I kind of think that, like, that's amazing. Soon, Gregson's book will come to life on the silver screen. When you sat down to write this a few years ago, like, did you expect that we'd be talking about this today? No. <laughs> no one was, like, talking about it, like, outside of, like, Mr. Gregson's classrooms. I always felt like it was, it was a pretty cinematic book. And so I've always, like, you know, when I visualized it, it kind of played like a movie in my head. Two, one, yeah. Gregson shared the news with his students. <laughs> allowing them to be a part of the excitement. Trying to show my students that they should try to chase their dreams and you know that anything is possible. So I hope that that is inspiring them and whatever it is, whether they want to be an author or if it's something else that they want to pursue. That message isn't lost on these young minds. It's crazy having like a published author as my teacher because I want to be an author and he's like my greatest inspiration. A piece of fan art and a plushie both uh, the Gorgantons, these giant metal sky serpents. There's an abundance of pride in this classroom. I think it's really cool and I feel like special because I'm like, I know him. Felt by students and their teacher alike. I mean, these kids are awesome, awesome readers and I'm super proud of them and their growth this year. Eric whispers to, to Stefan, your pathetic fat high who has grown strong off of squishing maggots. I'm going to use that line of you've grown strong off of squishing maggots. I'm going to find a way to use that. That is, that is awesome. That is really good. Right now, the book is being translated into several different languages, including French, Spanish, and German. It's the first in a trilogy. Gregson says he loves to teach, but to get the perfect work-life balance with family, school, and being a writer, he says next year he'll have to move to part-time teaching here at Eastmont Middle School. In Sandy, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.